The open basket weave is especially effective for acute or recent ankle injuries. It's called open because you leave the dorsum or top of the foot open. Again, start with anchors, but this time leave them open on the anterior leg and dorsum of the foot. Apply strips to the bottom of the foot, leaving the top open. Then apply a stirrup strip. This time Dave is taping an aversion sprain, so he's going from the lateral aspect of the leg to the medial. Then weave strips with stirrup strips to enclose the plantar surface of the foot, that is the bottom of the foot, and the posterior leg. Next, apply single heel locks. Then lay anchor strips on the anterior leg and dorsum of the foot. Three horizontal strips secure the procedure. And finally, apply an elastic wrap for compression and secure the wrap with a fastener or strip of tape. Of course, the athlete should remove the wrap when she applies ice and when she sleeps. Okay, let's see the open basket weave one more time. Check to see whether the athlete has suffered an inversion or eversion sprain. Apply anchor strips, leaving the front open. The open basket weave is better for acute injuries because it controls swelling without restricting circulation. Apply strips to the bottom of the foot. Notice how Dave tears tape by putting his fingers close together and tearing with a quick snapping motion. This can be a difficult skill for beginners to learn. Apply a stirrup strip, in this case from lateral to medial, to protect an eversion sprain. Apply strips, weaving them with stirrup strips to enclose the bottom of the foot. Apply single heel locks. Apply anchor strips on the anterior leg and dorsum of the foot.
Secure the procedure with three horizontal strips across the top of the leg and foot. And apply an elastic wrap for compression.